Hi everyone, this is JJ and welcome again to Flow Tricks. In today's tutorial, we're gonna see a special trick because this is my signature trick and I'm really happy to be able to teach it for you today. The reason I wanted to show this trick today to you guys is because, you know, the tricks you do very well, they are a bit of your own, you keep to yourself. But last month, at the 15th of February, by the way, one day before my birthday, I got announced for the fourth time the FNF World Cup winner. So, you know, I was really over the moon and when you win such a big competition, there were 137 players of 41 uh, countries, you start thinking. And I'm starting thinking about the future because, you know, um, where is my legacy at? You know, that's something I think everyone has at a certain point. And I think this, this trick is just part of it. So in an impulse, I decided today, because it's good weather, um, you know, to show it to you guys. Because this trick I obviously also used at my World Cup. So I, I used it for the first time at my World Cup of 2021. Um, and I also used it in my final combo in the 2022 uh, World Cup entry that I sent in. Um, and I also did it, of course, in this year's uh, World Cup, so the one of 2023, where I did it with a, with a different variation. So I made it a little bit harder, which I call the JJ Plus, all right? Maybe that's something for another time, or maybe you should join my academy if you want to see that one uh, getting explained into detail. But today, we're going to see that JJ signature trick. Let's go. Of course, my signature trick is a doubles trick. What do we need for it? In our dominant hand, so that means my right hand, we're just going to hold an unchaku in the positive grip. That means that in our dino hand, we're gonna make a stick. So we're gonna go in the claw position. So for me, that's two fingers, can be three, four, your entire hand, uh, depending on your connector height. We're just gonna hold the stick, first of all, just like this, near the position where we're gonna flick it. Then we're gonna put ourselves in a little position where we are with our legs open so that we can do an aerial under the leg. First of all, also for aesthetic reasons, but also for practical reasons, we're gonna bounce to the inner side. So inner tie bounce, and then go under the leg, but instead of catching it, we're gonna flick it with the stick. And that's how you do the first part of my signature. It's obviously important to show this trick from the side. So while we make a stick with our dino hand, we put ourselves in this position. What is very important is when you do that inner tie bounce, ready to do the aerial under the leg, is not to do the aerial under the leg like really high when you catch it at chest height, let's say, which you normally do with an aerial under the leg. But in this case, you're gonna pull the aerial, or you're gonna aerial the stick a little bit more in front of you. That way, there gets a little more tension on the rope when you hit it with your stick and flick it in the air. You see, I almost had to reach for it. And that's what you don't see, of course, in the front image. But it creates that certain tension, both on stick and rope, that combination, both with flicking it, not rolling it, that gives that perfect aerial for JJ's signature trick. So when you're able to do the stick flick, which is of course a main ingredient of the JJ signature, then comes the body spin. All right, so we put ourselves in this position, as you saw from the, from the side position, the side angle that we just recorded, all right? So that means that where you do an inner bounce on your dominant side, and it flicks under the leg, and you're gonna flick it with the stick here, that means that your right leg is already in front of your left. So that means with this leg, we're gonna spin to the left and with the right leg, we're gonna push off, we're gonna push off like a bull, you know, in an arena. And with our left leg on the tip, that's where we're gonna spin, all right? So this is quite a classic spin. So here it goes. All right, it's not that hard. Um, and as you see in the slow motions right now, a little bit closer, it's just a matter of positioning. This both left as right leg is a variable, a variable in this part of a trick. That means you are the tool. It's always like that. So you need to play with it, all right? And I were able to do the JJ signature trick. You know, it's a trick obviously that lies close to my heart. And maybe if you are a competition player, you right now think, well, maybe that's not that hard trick. Besides, what I just showed you, the 2023 edition, was just another evolution of this trick, which is obviously a lot harder. But it's not only about hard tricks, it's also about being creative and taking that creative creativity to the competition. All right? So when you're competing in your next competition and you have worked a ton of time, I'm being creative, don't show it yet, all right? 
just show it in your next competition and then the next one and the next one always try to make it harder because that way your competition will always be one tournament behind you and that's also very important and something I really want to say today you know all right so good luck with this one keep the faith you can always contact me and up to the next one